everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today I'm going to show you my Butterick Sewing Pattern Haul from Simplicity.com. If you like this video, please subscribe to Budget Sew and follow me on social media at Budget Sew. Just a quick note before we get started, today I'm wearing Vogue 9204. The link to the video with that top is right here at the top of the screen. I love going on the Simplicity website and looking at Butterick patterns. They really appeal to me. This time when I took a look, the Butterick patterns were on sale for $3.99 and I couldn't help myself. I loaded up my online cart. This was such a great price because these patterns usually sell for $19.95 each. The first pattern is Butterick 6486 from 2021. It's a loose fitting gathered waist pullover top with neckline and sleeve variations. It can be made with a rounded neck or V-neck and bell, bishop or flounce sleeves. The suggested fabrics are double georgette, crepe de chine, chalet, charmeuse and cotton types. View A requires one and a quarter yards of one to two inch lace trim for the bodice and sleeves. And View D needs half a yard of half an inch elastic for the cuffs. This pattern reminds me of Simplicity 9611, which I really liked, but it didn't have sleeves. I had considered buying Simplicity 9611 and adding sleeves myself, but then I saw this pattern. View B is my favorite. Then there's Butterick 6663 from 2021. These semi-fitted tops have an invisible back zipper with hook and eye and neckline sleeve and peplum variations. View A is cut on the bias with purchase bias tape for the armholes. Views B and C have a sleeve flounce with a very, with a very narrow hem and view D has flared sleeves. This pattern is unsuitable for obvious diagonals, which I found surprising since the envelope shows a diagonal print fabric, but that's because view A is cut on the bias. The recommended fabrics are cotton blends, chalet, crepe, and double georgette. All views require one 22 inch or 56 centimeter invisible zipper and hook and eye. View A also needs one package of half inch single fold bias tape. I love the chevron look of View A. I can't wait to make it up in a striped fabric. This pattern came in two size ranges so I ordered one of size A5 for sizes 6 to 14 for my mom and E5 for sizes 14 to 22 for myself. I like that this pattern came with the overlap in pattern sizes, so if you wanted a size 14, you could buy either size range to get the custom fit you need. This pattern is perfect for striped fabrics to give the chevron effect. I bought some red and white striped fabric from the Lucan Optimus thrift shop, as well as a blue and white sheet set from Amazon just for this pattern. I can't wait to see how it makes up. Then there's Butterick 6687 from 2021. This semi-fitted top has a back opening with a button and loop closure and four sleeve variations. Purchase bias tape finishes the neck. View C has a gathered sleeve and View D has a gathered sleeve with a flounce. View C and D use seam binding for the stay for the gathered sleeves. View A has short flounced sleeves and View B has longer sleeves. They almost look like they are wrapped around the arm. The wrong side of the fabric may show on the flounce of View A and the sleeves of View B. The suggested fabrics are double georgette, crepe de chine, crepe, chalet, and charmeuse. All views require one 3 eighths of an inch or one centimeter button and one package of half inch 
single fold bias tape. View C and D also need seam binding. My mom found this pattern for me on the simplicity.com website and I ordered it in a size large to double extra large since a size 16 fell into that category. I love the mid-length faux wrap sleeves and I think that these tops will be cool and comfortable on warm summer days. Then there's Butterick 6688 from 2021. This pattern is for my mom. Butterick 6668 is a semi-fitted top with a gathered front with sleeve and sleeve length variations, a self-faced yoke, and a stitched hem. View A has a sleeve flounce. View B has flared sleeves. View C has three-quarter length sleeves. And D has three-quarter length sleeves with a self-ruffle. The recommended fabrics are crepe de chine, crepe, double georgette, chalet, and charmeuse. View A also requires one package of half-inch single-fold bias tape. I like that this top has gathering from the yoke on the front and back for a more comfortable fit. I also love the flounces on view A. Next, I ordered two copies of Butterick 6895 from 2022. One copy for me and one for my mom. This button front top has a shaped hemline, neck, collar, and sleeve variations and the back has a yoke with pleats. View A has a pilgrim collar with three quarter length sleeves. View B is sleeveless with a pilgrim ruffled collar and view C with a Chelsea collar has short sleeves gathered into an elastic cuff. The suggested fabrics are cotton blends, broadcloth, chalet, gingham, lightweight linen, and voil. Views A and B require six half inch or 1.3 centimeter buttons. View B also needs one package of half inch single fold bias tape. And view C requires five half inch or 1.3 centimeter buttons, one and an eighth yard of half inch wide elastic. This top also has the narrow shoulders, which make for a better fit for me. A lot of 1970s patterns have the narrow shoulder look, so I'm always on the hunt for those patterns, but I was lucky to find it on a modern pattern. I also love both collars. The next pattern is Butterick 6855, a top and sash pattern from 2021. These V-neck tops have a center front pleat, gathers at the front and back yokes, and sleeve variations. The suggested fabrics are chalet, crepe de chine, double georgette, and charmeuse. Very pretty flowy fabrics. The size ranges are extra small to medium and large to double extra large. I like this top so much that I bought one copy of the large to double extra large for me and an extra small to medium for my mom. Then there's Butterick 6732 a top pattern with A, B, C, and D cup sizes to give you a more custom fit. These Empire Waist Tops have sleeve variations and a back zipper. View A has a V-neck front and flutter sleeves. View B has a slit neck front and gathered ruffle sleeves, and View C has a slit front and long sleeves with an elasticized cuff. The suggested fabrics are cotton blends, lightweight linen, crepe de chine, double georgette, and chalet. All views require one 22 inch or 56 centimeter invisible zipper. View C also needs one yard of half inch elastic for the sleeves. My mom has a Vogue 1970s pattern with the chevron insert. I found it at Good Value Thrift Store in downtown London, Ontario. I couldn't pass up buying that pattern even though it was in a size too small. My mom loves it. I wanted to make a similar top and this pattern fits the bill. 
The next pattern is Butterick 6456. This pattern was published in 2021. This loose fitting top with a back button and loop closure has neckline and sleeve variations. View A has a rounded neck and short sleeves with a ruffle. View B also has a rounded neckline but has long tulip sleeves. View C has a front pleat and short sleeves with a flounce and view D also has a front pleat but has bell sleeves. The recommended fabrics are double georgette, crepe de chine, chali charmeuse, cotton blends, and voile. All views require one 3 8 of an inch or one centimeter button as a back closure. Originally, I put this pattern in the cart for my mom, but later on, when I was reviewing the order, I took a second look at it and all the beautiful possibilities popped into my head, so I had to buy it for myself as well. Then there's Butterick 6248 from 2015. I was surprised to see this pattern on the Simplicity.com website because it is eight years old, but I was thrilled to get it. This pullover tunic that is close fitting through the bust has princess seams and stitched hems. Views A and B have side front pockets, a back godet, a shaped back hemline where the wrong side shows. View A has short sleeves and views B, C, and D have long sleeves. View B has a cowl neckline which reminds me of the second pattern I ever sewed. It had a cowl and I loved it. I think it was a simplicity pattern. View C has a back overlay, which is really cute, and View D has an oversized collar. Necklines A and C, as well as overlay C, have narrow hems. This pattern is designed for lightweight, moderate stretch knits, such as jerseys, sweater knits, and cotton spandex. All views require a quarter of a yard or 0.3 meters of seam binding for the shoulder seams. I opened up this pattern and took a look at the instructions and I'm really impressed with how the front pocket is constructed for views A and B. This pattern is listed as an easy pattern, but the pocket seems a bit complex. Or maybe it's just me because I've never sewn something like that. Let me know your thoughts on this pattern in the comments section below. The final pattern is Butterick 6518. These very loose fitting tops have a front that gathers into a yoke, a back yoke with a button closure, and sleeve variations. View A has a contrast yoke and sleeve bands, and lace accents down the front. It's hard to see the lace in the photo, but you can definitely see it in the line art. View B has lantern sleeves. View C has a contrast lower bell sleeve. And view D, which is not pictured on the front of the envelope, has a ruffled yoke and bell sleeves. The suggested fabrics are crepe de chine, chalet, charmeuse, georgette, and cotton blends. The contrast in view A can be lace, and the underlining or lining in view A can be organza or shears. One half inch or 1.3 centimeter button is required for all views. View A also requires half a yard of a quarter of an inch elastic for the sleeve and one and a half yards of one to two inch lace trim. View B also requires half a yard of a quarter of an inch elastic for the sleeves. I bought two copies of this pattern because it's so pretty. One copy for me and one in a size smaller for my mom. I was surprised that this pattern did not show all the views on the pattern envelope because view D is so lovely. I really want to make this version and it's hard to believe that such a pretty make wasn't featured on the front. When I scrolled through the Simplicity website, I saw only three views for this pattern and didn't know there was a fourth until I clicked on the pattern and then scrolled down to the line art. It's a good job the other three views are so stunning that they made me click on the pattern. I'll take this as view D is a bonus pattern. 
I hope you enjoyed my Butterick sewing pattern haul from Simplicity.com. Subscribe to Budget Sew for more great videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.